Welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing 8-year-old bottled and bond 4-grain straight bourbon whiskey from Laws here on the channel next. Welcome back. Like I said earlier, we're reviewing the 8-year-old bottled and bond 4-grain Laws straight bourbon whiskey. The reason I got into this bottle particularly from Laws was Fred Minnick. He, he was sitting down with his ascot looking very sharp and dapper. And he had a bottle of this sitting next to him. He said this is one of the best bottled and bonds that he had had in a very long time. The funniest part I thought was when he was drinking it, he kept spilling it on himself. And I kept swearing the entire time. He said, to his, what do I got a hole in my damn lip? I keep spilling this stuff everywhere. So... But his reaction to drinking this, the pure shock and joy on his face, when he had this, I was like, oh, I need to research this a little more. Found this one for $80. I got it on, if I'm not mistaken, uh, not Bourbon Outfitters, uh, uh, Shared Pour. Took me a second. I got it on there last year, and I said, you know what, I'm going to try it. So as you can see, I've had some out of it over the last year. And when I got it, it was, even straight out of the neck pour, was stunning. Most bottle and bonds have to be four years, 100 proof. This is 100 proof, but this is eight years, and it's four grain. It's 60% corn, 20% heirloom wheat, 10% heirloom rye, 10% heirloom malted barley. This is batch 6F. Uh, we'll do a little note on the back. It says the special offering from our four grain is the first bonded bourbon in Colorado history. True to the Bottle and Bond Act of 1897, this bourbon is at least four years old. It's actually eight. A product of a single season, single distiller, and has been aged entirely in our federally bonded rack house. Bottled at 100 proof, we find this bourbon deeply complex with floral aromas and flavors of black tea, honey, orange peel, baked plums, and coffee cake, leading to a sweet, lingering cinnamon finish. It is made in Denver, Colorado at Law's Whiskey House. So, one, I love the bottle. It's just a nice square decanter-looking bottle. Nice heavy wood cap. But, again, like I always say, what's the liquid like inside? No one cares about the history. No one cares about what it looks like. How good is the whiskey inside? Let's get into the nose. Oh, you get an orange peel. A smoky, like a smoky tea note. Um... Smoky, t um, the, the smoky tea note that I can think of is Earl Grey hot. John Luke Picard. That's what that smells like because I've had Earl tea and it smells just like this. You can also get a baked caramel, that little bit of wood oakiness, wood spice, and a soft leather note. Like, um, if you've ever broken in a glove, like when you were a kid, you put the ball in it, you got to get all the oils on it, and it has that light pungent aroma of like uh, the leather and the oils that's what this is now on this one it's she got some legs she can coat the glass she looks good it's a light amber look nose is very very you get those four grains and it really punches through but it's a pleasant note let's get into the taste I definitely get a dried fruit note. Definitely get a roasted oak. Not a barrel char. Like a roasted, just lightly done. That Kentucky hug is kind of here, or we can call it the Colorado hug, is kind of here, and it blossoms out just gently. Still heavy on the finish, still heavy on the mid palate. You definitely get a like that leather note, definitely a black pepper, but it's not a harsh black pepper. It's a very soft. Um, comes across very nice and you get almost like a creme brulee uh, when you do the creme brulee on the top that that sugar note that brown sugar note that's what I'm getting on this second taste I get a tobacco note but it's like um like a habano if you've ever smoked a habano cigar and you get that note that that floral light but you could definitely have that flavor note pull through from the cigar that's what this has the spicy finish is still uh still there still on the mid palate back 
it's still right here. But it, again, like I said before, it's not a harsh note. It's not like a harsh finish. It's very pleasant, uh, comforting. So for, for 80 bucks, this is going to be for some people, unless you like a lot of four grain or a brew rye, light on the corn, more on the heirloom wheat and the rye, the rye spice. If you see this and you're out and you get a two finger pour, now this is an $80 bottle. So you're kind of pushing more up there toward the $20 two finger mark to get it neat. Try it. I preferred it. I went on Fred Minnick's um, kind of tasting notes and, you know, straightening of the ascot. And you know what? It's really good. It, it's, it's pleasant. It's warming. This to me would be a great fall bottle. Like I'm talking like after Labor Day, falling more into when the uh, leaves start to change outside. They go from like green to amber to orange to yellow. That's when I would have this. Or around a campfire. You got that nice, you got your little sweater on or your uh, hoodie on and you just want something warming but not too much this would be your perfect shot right there i'm your host brian thank you for watching like i always say find a bottle open the bottle enjoy the bottle because good whiskey is always meant to be shared talk to the guys soon